Hey YouTube, it's Lemmy Girl once again. Welcome you back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Flying Type Only Run, episode 21. I know in the last episode we ended the episode over in Cer Cerulean Sea, but I decided to start us here because it's. Well, this is where we should have ended it. As we are heading this way, because the objective for today's episode is we are going to explore the electric plant. Right, yeah, I gotta actually talk. Can't just move forward. Even with. Gyarados in the lead. Yay! Go Terra! Believe it or not, this is the first time I've actually rode on a Gyarados. Okay, got ourselves a trainer there. Honestly though, I can't be bothered fighting that guy, so I'm not gonna. Gyarados understood! Just let you know, these three videos in a row actually are gonna be about 20 minutes long at most. See, if there's any speed ups, then uh, be a bit shorter. Here we are, the power plants. I could have sworn I called it the electric plant, so I called that wrong. <laughs> you can probably guess why I'm here, because it's... Oh, right, yeah. Hyperchu feels a tension in the air, and it seems a little afraid. What could it be possibly be afraid of? I don't know, but we got ourselves a... Uh, coach trainer, that's his name. I also got it an ace trainer. Battle! But yeah, there's really no reason to come here unless you want uh, certain things. An armor star. That's right, you want an armor star. <laughs> Go Terra. <coughs> okay, level 44. Strongish Pokemon indeed. And armor star is more physically defensive, so yeah, figured as much. Not much. Ugh. Anything? She's using Ice Beam though. Uh, I think Terra's the best option here. And I'm gonna go Outrage. I actually did use a Rare Candy on uh, Terra and got it up to level 41. And that's when it learned Outrage. So yeah, excuse my Gyarados being a little bit stronger. Because I also did a teeny weeny bit of money grinding as well. For three days in a row, I went to all the respawning spots for like the nuggets. Well, I did get a few nuggets, but in like the dark tunnel, the uh, slow poke thing in um, get you a big pearl, the nugget from the diglet in the Fiducia City. I did go around doing all those for three days, so I got myself quite a bit more money. Um, I swear one of my Pokemon has Giga Drain or Mega Drain. I guess I'm wrong. Well then, it's a Kabutops, so let's go Hood. <coughs> but yeah, I did get quite a bit more money and I stocked up on items. Also, I bought a lot of Ultra Balls. Kabutops. I guess this trainer has all three of the fossil Pokemon, which is okay. Let's go Quiver Dance. Yep, faster. I thought so. Oh no! We could be in trouble. Uh. Oh wow. You know what? Peckers. Peckers is fast. 101, 105. By the way, I retaught Charizard some new moves. It's got Roost and Fire Punch now. 110. Andrew, yeah, Peckers is my fastest, and with that, with the jump kick as well, should be super effective. I just need to go first. And pray I don't miss. I went first. I didn't miss. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should mention as well the time. Oh, god damn it. This Kabutops is gonna wreck my team. The time right now is kids going home from school time and I live like three houses away from the school. <laughs> you, so, you hear cars and people. I'm sorry, but this is literally the only time I could think of to record today. So I kind of didn't have a choice, so uh, I'm afraid we'll just have to deal with it. I hate to say it, but Peckers is the only one who can actually beat this Kabutops. Everything else is getting wrecked. I mean, Terra might be able to take a hit, but he's not going to be able to do too much. So, come on, Peckers, please don't miss. You are our only hope here. Otherwise, we f we lose this fight. Yes! 
Oh, thank God, thank you. Heck, as times free is the best. Aerodactyl, I thought so. Back to Terra. Go Terra. And you know something? I might as well say it now. Yes, Aerodactyl is going to be our final teammate for the game. A, wa a flying rock type Pokemon. Rock slide. Well, there's my answer on t <laughs> Damn it! We're gonna lose this fight! <laughs> no! Uh, we've. Uh... I don't think Peckers can really do anything against Aerodactyl. Damn it! What can I do now? I hate to... I got a max revive, don't I? I could knock out Aerodactyl in one blow with Waterfall. I do, I've got two. I could walk, I could knock out Aerodactyl with a single Waterfall because Aerodactyl is more of a glass cannon built for speed and power. It doesn't have too much on the way of defense. Well, Wingbat survived that, so hopefully that's a good blessing for Terra too. Can I go first? Nope. And you wonder one thing I'm getting sick of? My opponent's never missing. Rock Slide is not a 100% accuracy move. I think it's a 90% accuracy move. And yet my opponent, as you've been seeing in this fight, has not missed once. Why is the opponent so cheap? Oh, you want to use a move that has like a 90% accuracy? Oh, you missed like five times. Oh, we want to use it? Oh, we hit 100% of the time. We're the best. She don't you dare. Yes, no flinch. Bam! Thank you. And that was a critical hit. Oh my god. Yay, we won. <laughs> that was the nastiest battle yet. Five rare candies. Yay. Okay, I need a heal. By the way, yeah, see, stocked items. <laughs> I did not want to end up in this battle. No! Run away! Eh, I'm a little frustrated now because that's also bad luck. I couldn't beat that trainer that was... Well, I, I did win, but that was just bad luck in my, in my opinion. But you guys know why I'm here. This is literally going to be the ultimate challenge of this entire playthrough. I mean, uh, now you'll notice this Pokeball is upside down. Yeah, that's because this is... an Electrode. And yep, it's a battle Pokemon. If you ever want to come across one of these, here's an opportunity for you, but I'm out of here. Couldn't get away. Yay! Fine. I'll cut this out. Okay, we got past the battle phase, so I'm alright coming back into this bit, because I can just run now. I don't even know why we're given this opportunity to actually battle this Electrode when wild Electrodes are found in this area. Oh by the way, also so are wild Electabuzzes. So if you learn Electabuzz, this is the place to find them. Best place to, the best way to do it is to keep going in and out of the entrance with a, a lure on. Go in, wait a moment, for uh, like up to four to five, I think up to five Pokemon at most. I think up to like five Pokemon can be on screen at once, so wait till about that many, four at least, and then no Electabuzz, then just leave. Another red candy, jeez. Hey, it's Electabuzz! <laughs> Run away. I honestly don't think we're gonna do our challenge in this place. Not yet. Hold on, I need to check something. Do I have any X special defenses? I do, I have three. There is hope. There is hope. Thunder! A move I never use unless I have like a combo ba uh, team. Nope. A combo team like with, uh, with double battles with rain dance. 
Or a Pokemon who can learn both Rain Dance and Thunder. <laughs> the Thunder is easily one of the best electric moves out there, but it's so hard to hit. It's uh, I think they've upped its uh, accuracy to 80%. Is it 80? Or am I just thinking of f Fire Blast? Uh, Alright, yeah, it's not sorted. Thunder. Nope, it's 70% with 110 accuracy. And I think it has like a 30% chance or 45% chance to paralyze your opponent. It's pretty effective. Well, that came up out of nowhere. Literally. I don't need to capture any more of your Pokemon, so I'm not touching that! Stupid laptop! Paralyze heal. There. Hold on. Okay. Alright then. Grandma! Here is why we came here. It is a flying type. And an electric type. This is our... I believe this to be our ultimate challenge of the game. Zapdos, the legendary flying type Pokemon. Let's do this. Zapdos has appeared. Stats rose. And it's also level 50. Nine levels higher than any of my Pokemon. This is why I consider this the ultimate challenge. Now then, let's go for our next special defend. And pray he doesn't use Thunderbolts! He went for Thunderbolt. Oh, that was still a one-shot KO! Oh, guys, I don't think I could do this! You need to beat it in order to try to catch it. <clears throat> I mean, if I had Aerodactyl and it was like close to Zapdos', Zapdos level, yeah, I could probably one-shot it with a rock move. Damn. Fire Punch. Light Screen. <laughs> I'm using a physical move! Even though I know Charizard's bad for physical and it's got an ambient nature, but I don't care. Burn it! Damn it. Da, da, da. One Thunderbolt and Flazard is down. Bang, bang. Zzz. If I lose, I'm just going to call it that. We'll come back for Zapdos if I actually lose this. I am not prepared for this fight. I don't know why I chose this. Go, go Hood. Okay, Quiver Dance, Thunderbolt, KMO. <laughs> if it just uses Thunderbolt, that's it. My team is gone. <laughs> Go Beckers. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. So dance. Thunderbolts. That's it. Another critical hit? That's twice in a row! How? Sorry, I broke your eardrums there, but that's ridiculous. Go, Flash. Flash is my second fastest Pokemon. Sand Attack! Uses Thunderbolt. I was hoping it would use something else! Seems light screen wore off. Go wing bat. Come to think of it, I think I could win with wing bats. How toxic. And we lost. Okay, I saved right before the battle, so I will be right back. Okay, we are back for round two. I do believe we could win this. Uh, you can't, no, you can't skip this. Yeah. 
I do believe we can win this if I can get a Toxic off. You wonder what scares me the most? Either a Shiny appeared and I couldn't get it. That would be such a pain. Okay, if things go the same way they did before, he should go straight for Thunderbolt. Yes, he does. Terra survived it this time! Critical hit. God damn it, Terra. But you know something? I don't care. Damage the fool. Wow, that went much. Waterfall. Okay. Now, I'm praying that either Golbat survives by toughing it out, or it uses Light Screen. I need to get off a of Toxic. If I can get off a of Toxic, I can then just stall the battle until I won. Come on! Thunderbolt! Damn it! That doesn't mean I'm out of options. Next Pokemon. Flash. Okay, I'm betting again for Light Screen, Sand Attack. Nope, Strike the Thunderbolt again. Why'd you use Light Screen last time if you're not going to use it now? I'm going to revive Golbat. Was it because I used Charizard? It might have been. Okay, revive. It doesn't matter if max health or not, the effects are still the same. But you know as well, I do believe Thunderbolt is also not 100% accurate, so could you miss once, please? Come on, Wingbat. If you could do this, that would be your last great thing for this team. Toxic. Thunderbolts. Damn it! I got one shot left to do this. One. After this, I give up. I can't get it. I can't beat it right now. Watch him use light screen again. Survey says, nope, use Thunderbolt. Why did he even use Light Screen last time? I was banking on that at this battle, but now it just won't use it. Is the AR alert that it just doesn't need to use it? You know what, if I lose, I lose. I'm not resetting again. Come on, Wingbat, please. Thunderbolt doesn't miss, as always. And Golbat doesn't tough it out. That's it. We've lost. Okay, I decided to cut that out because we just lost and I just kept slipping up the buttons making the battle go even longer than it should have. So I just cut that out. Resetting again. We are done. Ugh. Not for this episode though. We got one last thing. I don't know why you're flapping your arms about. You're not a Zapdos. <laughs> we are heading to go and get our teammates and then we're going to go and end this episode. Megato! Alright, yep, we're heading to Cinnabar, but you're probably wondering why am I going to Cinnabar now? When, um, alright, yeah, Terra's still in the lead. When that's not where we're going to soon anyway. Simple. Because I want my last teammate now. It's that simple. Luckily, you actually can avoid all trainers. Just follow the left side as closely as possible and keep your eyes peeled on the right side of the map. You can avoid all the trainers all the way down to Cinnabar. In fact, we are there. Cinnabar Island. So we're going here. Da 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 and this guy over here shall revive our fossils. I'm going to say, because I kind of want a decent-natured Aerodactyl. <sighs> Hello! 
Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very well known indeed. I study rare Pokemon fossils. Hey, do you have a fossil for me? Old Amber! Oh, is that an old Amber, is it? A fossil of Aerodactyl. Technically not a fossil of Aerodactyl. There's a bug in there with Aerodactyl's DNA in it. Okay. <coughs> Success! Get the Aerodactyl! Tucked away in the box. Alright then, there! No! Oh. Well, technically I could have gotten to the box from there. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little impatient. Alright then, Aerodactyl. Let's check you out. Seat level 44. Careful nature. Uh, not really the nature I want. So what I'll do is actually is I will suffer set for a decent nature. I'm just I'm gonna either go for Amadin or Jolly. So I'll go for one of those natures and I'll meet you guys back over in Celadon City, the city with with the fourth gym badge in it. I think. You know what? I'm completely confusing myself right now. Yeah, Celadon. I'll meet you guys in Celadon City in the next episode. Where we'll have our Amadons or Jolly Aerodactyl. I'll probably go for Jolly, to be honest, to get that extra bit of speed. <laughs> so, hope you've all enjoyed. See you in the next episode.